Uh, the Hornets uh, defeated the Sacramento Kings by 110 to 102 points. Indiana Pacers, interestingly, I was shocked when I saw this result. Interestingly, they defeated the LA Lakers 105 to 102 points. And the New York Knicks were winners against Atlanta Hawks 143 to 120 points. And in overtime, New Orleans Pelicans had lost to Brooklyn Nets 101 to 108 points. And the Utah Jazz defeated the Orlando Magic 109 to 102 points. And the Clippers defeated the Phoenix Suns 120 to 99 points. The result coming from the NBA. I'll leave Maka to give us a bit of analysis of those games and uh, what she feels concerning LeBron James's Los Angeles Lakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think the Lakers have been on a high right now, mm -hmm. so everyone's just expecting them to roll through and win their games. Yeah. And it was quite interesting that they, you know, fell to the uh, Pacers, Pacers last night, 105 to 102. Um, in there, though, Anthony Davis was out. Um, he had an ankle injury from the previous game where he tweaked it. So he is currently out. And I know we spoke on how the Lakers haven't really experienced too much injury. Injuries, yeah. Um, but as we see, one thing I've said, injury is going to play a really big key in this season because a lot of the teams are balanced with a lot of athletes and stars. Mm. Um, so it's re down the stretch is really going to really depend on who's healthy, you know, and who's ready to go. And, you know, last night LeBron had 20, which is, you know, okay, but we know he can do better. That's about a low scoring LeBron yeah. James. Yeah, and he, he shot um, 8 for 20 from the field, 40%, which I think he could do a lot better, you mm. know, with his shooting percentage. And um, so Sabanis led the Pacers with 26 last night. So... Like we said, you know, all the teams, they, a lot of the really good top five teams have great athletes, but if you can't stay healthy, it's going to really require a lot of people to step up and, mm. and carry that. And we saw the Lakers with Anthony Davis out, you know, they picked up a loss. Mm. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the season continues, you know, with the Lakers and, and some other players. And uh, the Clippers last night, they were able to, you know, get a win, 120 yeah. to 99. And, you know, Paul, Paul George was out there. He had 24 points. Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard also stepped up as well with 20 and Williams with 20. So they were equally balanced, mm -hmm. you know, on, on the court last night. And I'm really looking forward to the West. The West is, is really, really, up. really strong, you know, um, you know, with the teams that are that are getting a lot of wins mm. out there so it'll be interesting and the knicks even though they're not doing so well this season yeah. you know they were able to put up 143 points you know against the hawks mm -hmm. so that's uh, there's not every night that an nba team can put up 143 points so that was commendable and i think as they are towards the bottom they should just continue to climb and you yeah. know get those wins and do what they need to do mm. um and we have the, the nets I, I'm actually really um, shocked as to how well they're doing without, um, you know, their superstar who is out with the Achilles, okay. Kevin, Durant, Kevin Durant, you know. And we don't really know if he's coming back. That injury is about 9 to 12 months recovery. Um, back well, when it was at the Golden State Warriors, that was when he got that injury. Yeah, exactly, mm. in the playoffs when he, you know, he sat out, he came back. And unfortunately, you know, severed his Achilles mm -hmm. in, in that um, second quarter. So, you know, the Brooklyn Nets are doing pretty good without him, though. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if he could come back maybe towards the playoffs or before the playoffs and, and what his impact will be. So mm. that, but my, my quick question on um, KD is why get a player who is injured? What's, what's the use of, of um, Kevin Durant when he's not even playing? Mm hmm I mean, have you seen what he can do on the court? I think it's it's a risk, but um, he's phenomenal, yeah, you know. Yeah. And and I think for them, they're missing peace. Mm. Um, so if he was healthy, yes, I'm sure the Brooklyn Nets would be doing a lot more a in lot the more East. Um, but I mean, he's a phenomenal player, so I think they just think, okay, let him go through reco recovery, and when mm -hmm. he's ready to go, um, he'll make his impact.